Hey guys, so we have quite a few cases here, uh, three in total. Now, I've been getting cases sent to me pretty consistently now. That seems to be the biggest thing they want, I guess, YouTubers to look at. Smaller ones anyway are cases. And some of the ones I've been sent to me, these are three that I picked. Some of the ones I've sent to me are pretty generic and boring and probably aren't worth your money. So I'm not going to show you all of those. And uh, these are ones that I saw, though, that make sense to show you guys. I think these are ones you would be more than likely to see, these two in particular, in stores. This one was a little more of a dark horse that I saw, and I wanted to, to show you guys this one as well. So with that, let's get started and take a look at these cases. So the first one we're going to look at is this. This one's from PDP. It's a starter kit. It's one with has Mario and the Joy-Con grips and everything. Now, I noticed uh, on the back, and I, I noticed this pretty quickly, on the back it has like a texture look to it. Um, and then on the front, you could tell that the Joy-Cons look nothing like that. I don't know if that was... Uh, an issue with their advertising department or something where they showed that incorrectly. I could probably show you on this top-down camera here. Um, but this part here, these shown as like having like ridges and stuff and, and kind of being depressed in to show like a design on the bottom. However, that is not the case with how these actually look on the plastic. But let's open this up real quick and see what we have going on here. Now... <clears throat> I did have uh, this guy return back to me, so we're back in business there. Although I am still looking for some purple ones. You guys have sent me some suggestions, and yes, I am keeping an eye on anything you guys sent me like that. So I will look into getting purple ones as I go as well. Definitely a tool set, because I always need more tools. This is the whole thing, but. Let me put the case to the side for a second. Let's just look at these grips real quick along with these headphones. Now, the headphones are pretty generic looking. They are, uh, they're your standard, they feel very cheap by the way, but they're your standard like in-ear headphones that kind of look, uh, they look pretty standard. They're almost like the ones you get with like your Samsung phones back in the day, just not as good quality obviously. They're very plasticky and you kind of feel that they are not the strongest headphones in the world. But more than likely, they would get the job done. I'm not a fan of these uh, form factors for headphones. I like the ones that either rest in your ear and not going actually into it, or the ones that just go over your ears in general. Um, but I'm sure some people do like these ones, and they would probably serve you okay if you just get the starter kit just to get something. Headphones you don't care too much about that you don't mind traveling with. Now, from there, we do have the Joy-Con grips here, they do have mild depressions um, that we saw on the back, but it's definitely not as defined as you see on the back there where it looks like it's almost shadowed and everything. It's very hard to tell, even kind of holding it, it still does not have that same depression to it. Now, it might, it's probably even hard to see on camera to be honest because it's just, there's no shadow to them. It looks very standard, um, but they are, they are sturdy. They're definitely sturdy, um, I will say that. So let's see, that's the right one. Let me borrow that. I mean, it sits in pretty well. It's pretty pretty standard stuff. It doesn't go anywhere, but that, that at least gives it a little bit of texture to it, I guess, so it's not as slippery. The front's still pretty slippery, but at least gives it some texture uh, if you want a little extra protection on the back. It's almost like uh, like case armor, almost. Um, but it, it at least sits on there pretty well, I'd say. It's not, it's definitely not coming off. It clips on, and I assume it'll still sit fine on here. Yeah, it sits on there fine still. Ooh, although I will say this, um, hmm, it almost lifts it up a little bit. <laughs> like, it kind of holds it up from there. I assume if I put the other one on, it would help, but it's going to rest on these rather than the kickstand almost. The kickstand will be pushed back a little bit. Oh, that's interesting. Let me put the other one on so we can just double check. Yes, it, it, okay, so this is interesting. It almost leans back a little extra, and then it kind of looks up at you more. I don't know if that's good or bad for anybody, uh, but it definitely rests on these red cases more, unless there is something else in here that I'm missing. There is not. Okay, so I don't know if I like that. That is probably not a good thing, um, but you know what? If you, if you don't mind it, it's fine, or if you don't really use it in tabletop mode, it's fine. Uh, it does give you better grip, just feeling it from here. It's a better grip overall, but don't use it in tabletop mode because there's a good chance it will just fall backwards. I can't imagine it sits up easily. Uh, just looking at it there, I had to be very careful not to um, let it... Okay, there we go. So you can kind of see it, it. It definitely rests differently than, than it would normally, but I guess it's okay otherwise. So you can see it 
the lip on that is pretty uh, pretty defined now overall. Let me see if I show you up here where there is a distinct difference. Mm. But let's move on to the case and take a look at that. Oh, uh, before that, I, I meant to look at these these slip covers for the Joy-Con thumbsticks. Um, I think they just press on. Yes, they do. Okay. I mean, it's Mari design. It's all red. I like red. Red's my favorite color, so that's that's pretty cool. But I think I'd rather just get the red Joy Cons if I really wanted this. Um, but not bad. Uh, it gives a little bit of texture to it. I still think I like the rubberized texture more, but it does kind of give it a nice little decoration. If again, if you like red. And it puts a little M for Mario on there as well. And it goes with the case. So let's take a look at the case next. So here's the case overall. It has the nice Mario on the front. M logo has the red. Uh, the back just is black with Super Mario text uh, in white on there, which is pretty good. I, I do like that it's not overly done on the back. I'd be worried that it would just be big red, you know, on the back too. Uh, no, not the case. It, it looks a little more adult than you'd think with... Uh, with it being Mario themed like that, where the whole thing could be red and crazy looking. I like the more minimalistic look to it there. Let's open it up. And okay, I do like this. This almost looks like, uh, again, really nice inside. It has like that red racing stripe almost design because it's it's red, black, red, black uh, for your game carts here. Right in there, we have a nice Velcro sound <laughs> where I assume your switch is held. The games cover that, which is a nice side effect considering this is like a nice felt. So it would then sit on top of that. Inside we have screen protectors, uh, plastic, not glass, but plastic nonetheless is still there. Uh, a spreader card that has the Super Mario logo on it, along with uh, a nice microfiber cloth. You can never have too many microfiber cloth and it's red and it has the nice little M symbol on there for Mario. Very cool. Let's put the switch in here with everything attached to it. And see, make sure everything fits okay. All right, and yeah, it fits, closes fine, has a handle, we're good to go. Now, the big question is, how protective is it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine, though. It doesn't, you can't feel it. The only reason I was willing to drop it is because I can't feel the switch in there, so it's, it's fine. Remember, it has these red rails on it, too, which is probably helping it, considering the, the system itself won't hit, touch the ground either, which is a nice side effect, because these are so defined and out. If you drop this, the those will take the impact and not the switch. Although the mechanism here may be affected. They do also put buttons here to help. Um, and they push in, they're just not the easiest to push. But not bad overall. It's an okay case. But let's take a look at the other ones as well just to get an idea of what else there is out there. Next one up, we have the premium console case. Also licensed by Nintendo, it appears to be. It has PDP logo on the back. This is a PDP case as well. Um, but it is covered in Nintendo logos, officially uh, licensed here with the official seal. Awesome. Let's cut it open and see what we get. Not much in the box. It looks like just case was all that was in there, uh, which is fine because you can put a lot of your stuff in the case anyway. So you really don't need it to be out like how that one was if you want to save on packaging. Um, I do like, okay, so I like the feel of this one. Uh, it's, already <laughs> it's already stained on the front. Um, Probably just because this is a very uh, absorbent material. So it's going to absorb uh, liquids and stuff a little easier than, say, the rubberized one we just looked at. But inside, it's pretty straightforward. I will say this. It's not, there's not a lot going on here. We have, of course, uh, your <laughs> silica gel bag to absorb moisture. Um, there is a microfiber cloth, also red. This one has the Nintendo Switch branding on it instead of the Mario branding which is fine. Again, microfiber cloths are good to have. And that's about it. <laughs> there's a, there's like a, like one of those cages down here where you can put your stuff. I assume cables can go in there. Uh, maybe even your charger. I don't think you're going to fit a controller in here or your grip. Like if you want to take the grip with you or tabletop mode or anything spots up here though, for your games. So if you have game carts, uh, there's game cart slots there. Overall, I'm a little, uh, a little disappointed to be honest with this one. The other one had a lot more going on inside. Um, and I, I don't know, is this just a game case? Now that I'm thinking of it, is that all this is? No, it says console case on it. Um, that's interesting. So let's see if I can fit this guy in here. Let's see, cause we have, I, can't, I don't know, we have that there and then I, maybe it just sits in there and just closes up. 
Um, yeah, I guess that's all it does. It sits in there and closes up. I, I didn't try to jam it in that mesh cage. Uh, I just kind of closed it up in there. Um, yeah, I don't like that. The, the system is just floating in there. I assume it has to go in that, that mesh cage. I, it has to. Otherwise, it's just floating around. But this is like where you would put... It's like where you'd put like your... I don't know. It's weird. I'm not missing anything, am I? It's pretty... Uh, I don't like that. That can't be right. Like that? I can't be right. That doesn't seem correct. And then it's... There's not a lot of protection on the back. I don't... I don't know. I, I don't know if I like this case. The other one I think was better. It has like a wrist strap here, I guess, to put on your wrist and carry with it. Um, it's still moving around in there, though. Like, it's not... There's a lot of space here. I... I can't... I don't know. This one's, this one's a little weird to me, guys. I, I don't know if I can recommend this one. This one... Unless I'm missing something, there's nothing inside other than that. Uh, maybe if you want to just carry your, your games around in it, um, and then your accessories, and just carry the Switch separately. But, I, I, I don't know, I can't, I can't recommend this one for, for, for you guys to protect your Switch with it. It's, uh... Huh, okay then, let's move on to the next one, I guess. Okay, this is the other one you guys saw uh, in the beginning. There was no packaging in it on it, and that's because it was sent to me in, like, one... It, it was one, this is one of the third party brands that sent it to me in like a plastic bag almost. I don't want to say plastic bag. It had, it was like pushed up against cardboard and then it had like the whole um, rough plastic that held it so it didn't get bent or anything. And this one is from Dubai. I hope I said that right. It's D O U B I. I had never heard of them. They contacted me and asked if I want to check out their premium case. And I will link to all this stuff will be linked down in the description. But I checked it out and. It looks pretty good overall. It's very hard. Um, sometimes you'd be surprised. Sometimes the third party ones that need to make a name for themselves end up giving you the best product. So let's open this guy up. Um, it does have the standard handle on the on the top there. Um, I just opened this up briefly, look in there. It is blue on the inside it looked like. Um, I didn't really go past this part just because I, I just wanted to make sure there's nothing floating around. Oh, there's stuff floating around here. Okay then. Uh, it's blue on the inside as you'll see up here on this camera which is cool. Um, I, I do prefer the red because it's Nintendo red. It, it goes better. I like red more, but overall, if you like the blue color scheme, there may be a red color scheme, but I know there's blue. Um, and this obviously is where your games go. You have another, uh, metal or I'm sorry, the, the type of mesh with a zipper, which is nice. Um, not as much room in here, I think as the other one we just looked at, but this would be, I think more to hold, uh, accessories and stuff. Um, game slots here where all your games should be going. Um, Quite a few slots, actually. One, two, three, four, eight, 16, 16 slots. The other one, I think, has the same amount. Um, so it's pretty standard. Of course, it has that same, that same felt on the bottom. This is interesting. Okay, so this looks to be a bag almost, like a, like a, huh, like a felt bag for your system, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. More Velcro noise. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> let's see. I don't, I don't think this. It's going to fit this, will it? Oh, wow, maybe it will. I guess because it's like elastic, kind of. Uh, that's nice. There we go. So my whole switch, the whole switch is in here now. That's kind of cool. So it gives it like a little protection there. Um, this is, oh, this must be for the front. Oh, it's a shoulder strap. Oh, that's cool. So you can like, I guess you can hold around your shoulder. Ah, oh, neat. So they give you one of those. It's kind of floating around in there. And wait a minute. A spot for a charge grip or just a grip in general there's a spot here for a grip i'll show you up here spot here for a grip it looks like and this is closed cell foam so it's 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 elastic but it's, it's tough which is cool so there's a spot here it looks like this is for a charge grip or just a regular grip for your joy cons i don't know what this is though this is just a square um let me try to jam the ac adapter in here and see if that works i'll get my grip too and we'll see how that works Okay, so I grabbed a couple things. Um, I, I'm looking at the adapter and I don't think it fits in here. I'm not really sure what the deal is here, but it, it definitely does not fit in there. Um, definitely not sideways or up and down uh, because it, it just doesn't fit. And then you have the cord to go with, but I have a feeling what this is for, maybe just for cables or maybe your own charge brick because I have my own charge brick here, fits in there fine. Uh, a second one, I guess just in case I want to charge my phone or something. So I have two charge bricks there. Um, and then remember up here, I have this cage where I could probably put my cables. So I assume I have like, uh, I have quite a few USB type C cables because my phone runs on it too. 
Um, so I assume that can just kind of go in there. Um, and then here's the Nintendo one that came with the charge grip. So let's jam that guy in there. So, so far so good. So we have cables, charge brick, two, two charge bricks. Um, here's the charge grip that it looks like it's set up for. This is the one that I have that actually charges. Um, fits in there pretty well. So this is what I have so far in here. I have, um, which I could put games up here too if I wanted to, but I have two cables, two bricks, a charge grip, and we'll see how well the switch fits in here. Um, oh, that's a tight fit. Okay, this is not like uh, easy fit, I will say that. I had to push it down there pretty good. Now, it's stable, it's not going anywhere, but I will make the mention that um, I'm concerned that these buttons are just being pushed down by this foam. I could probably hollow that out slightly up there, um, maybe with like some scissors or something or a blade, just to give that a little more rain or a little more freedom. I do like this though, it has like a, uh, like two spots on the bottom and the top here to kind of put your finger in and help pull it out. But overall, that's nice. Closed cell foam is nice. This covers. Let's see if it closes first though. Let's, let's see if that happens. Um, so we have that. Huh. Everything is in here and that's, that's pretty hard actually. That's not like, I'm a little surprised at this one, Dubai. Okay, I'm a little surprised at this case. This is a pretty nice case overall, especially if you're mostly just doing handheld stuff. Um, I also have an extra charger and a charge brick in here for my phone also. Um, and then you have the over the shoulder guy, I guess, if I want to do that. Uh, I'm not really sure where it attaches to though. Oh, okay, oh, well, look at that. It's got little spots on the side. So we have <clears throat> this guy here. And this guy here. A little, like I said, I'm a little surprised at this. This is not, as far as I can tell, a licensed by Nintendo one. Um, yeah, there you go. So you could technically, if you want, put it on your shoulder, I guess, and go. Um, put it around your shoulder, I guess, like that. If you're just going through like an airplane um, or an airport, you want to hold it real close to you rather than just kind of hold it over the, over the shoulder. I'm a little surprised. This is a case that I had kind of written off when I, when I, um, when I was going against those other two. So we have this one. And then these two from PDP. Um, if I had to rank them, this one would be one, this Mario one would be two, this one would be three because this barely qualifies as a case for the system as far as I can tell, unless I am missing parts to it because there's nothing in here to hold the, case, the system down. This one is fine. It holds the system down, comes with extra stuff, even comes with headphones. This is the only one that came with headphones. This one seems much more complete. There's more room, it protects it better, and it seems to have a spot for things like your charge grip or just regular controller grip for the Joy-Cons. And it has a spot for plenty of power adapters, cables, games, everything just like these ones do, but this holds more. I like this one the most. This is Dubai. All of these will be linked down in the description, guys. So check those out. Now I do have extras of this Mario one and this one. So these will all be given away. Check the link down in the description, guys. And uh, I have two new ones over there for it. That way you guys can win them. And that's it, guys. Um, check out, like I said, the links in the description. I, they only sent me this one. Um, and I'm not really sure if I need to send it back or not because this might be, uh, this is a smaller third party, like I said, seller on Amazon, I think. But check them out too. Check out whichever one you guys liked. Uh, again, links are in the description to Amazon sellers, I believe. And I will see you guys next time.